Hello everybody, it's been a while since we've done a video and in this one we are going to make a baffled sump for a 1UZ. So this is a 1UZ sump, aluminium casting with a steel pan on the bottom and uh, we've got a problem with the big ends on our drift car and uh, if you have a look at this trace here from our data logger you'll see that when we initiate drifts uh, we're getting a big dip in the oil pressure um, and I think that's because of oil surge in the sump. Um, the problem is that having done that for a year eventually the big ends have cried enough so we're on rebuilding the engine now to an even better one. But in order to go into that new engine we need to fix the sump and the best way to do that is to sort out sump baffles. So we are going to use uh, hinge trapdoor type baffles and the idea being that when the oil is moving left and right um, it gets trapped by the trapdoors so it can't flow away from the oil pickup it can only flow towards it. This is the standard Lexus oil pan and it's just completely open in the bottom um, it actually has a baffle plate, uh, this is a slightly modified one. The baffle plate sits at that level there, which is flush with the top of this. Um, and the actual standard oil level for the car sits at this baffle plate level. So that's how the standard setup is. Now the problem is you go around the corner like this, and of course all the oil sloshes away from the pickup, which is right in the centre of here. Uh, so we need to do something about that. So this is the standard 1UZ sump, aluminium casting. I've put the oil pump on the front of it. Here's the oil pickup pipe and looking down into it this is the standard oil pan. So the easiest thing to do about that is to get some loose pin hinges here from your local hardware store and these make excellent trap doors without having to mess on and make hinges. So they're all nice and free. Um, the only snag with the hinges being that they've got holes in. So all you do is weld up the holes uh, we'll make some steel baffle plates to go on the left, right and front of the oil pickup. Uh, we will weld these trapdoors to it on the inside and then oil can flow in into the uh, pickup area but it can't flow out. So it's a pretty simple idea and um, it's just a bit of steel fabrication. There's lots of people on the internet better at steel fabrication than us. You can go and watch their videos on how to do that. We'll just show you what we ended up with. So here's a close-up, we've got our two wells on the outside, so any oil that ends up in these wells goes out through into the centre through trapdoor going that way, trapdoor going this way, and any oil that ends up down the front goes through this trapdoor and all ends up in this central area here, which is where we want it. So it's pretty simple, it's only fabbed out a um, 1.2mm steel plate, um, and you can see the hinges here. Um, I linished the hinge pins down slightly to make sure they are free and put a dot of weld on the end of them to hold them in. And that's it, they're all welded in, you can see it here. They're all super free, which is what you want. Um, the reason we haven't done one at the back is that this is the oil pickup. You can see if you look at the hole, the oil pickup's already offset rearward on this sump, so we only needed to put them on these three sides. So here's the oil pickup coming off the oil pump and the front trap door there and then the left and the right trap door. So the only modification we've made to the pickup is I've welded these two steel plates on here and the reason for those is that the doors actually open up against those which limits their opening. Um, the reason for doing this, the front one's okay because it hits the front. The reason for doing that is that if you turn the engine upside down on an engine stand I've seen before that if trapdoors don't have a positive stop, um, when you're spinning it over on the engine stand, the trapdoors fall open and they can stick in the open position, which then makes them useless. So you're always better putting a stop on a trapdoor to make sure it can only open at maybe 45 degrees. And then you know that there's no chance when you're turning the engine over on a stand that it can ever um, get the doors in the stuck open position. So the only modification we made to the baffle plate was to weld a plate over this area here which has a hole as standard and the reason being that holes there is for the oil level sensor which we don't run so we just run a blanking plate there um, so it made sense to block that up as well so we end up just with this area here for the oil pickup. 
so there you go that's a very quick way of making a trapdoor sump for a 1UZ uh, we will share the data and say we'll let you know how we get on with it but we're looking forward to trying this and hopefully that's the end of our big end worries thanks for watching please subscribe it helps support us and um, we'll be back later with some more 1UZ videos thank you everybody